डी एस स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम टू अवर सांगली शिक्षण संस्था यूट्यूब चैनल सब्जेक्ट जोग्राफी स्टैंडर्ड सेवन लेसन नंबर वन हाउ सीजन्स अकर पार्ट वन हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव स्टडीड जोग्राफी एज अ पार्ट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल स्टडी फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड टू फिफ्थ एंड फ्रॉम यूवर जोग्राफी टेक्स्ट बुक इन स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स मेनी इवेंट्स ऑकर इन अवर सराउंडिंग वी आर अ पार्ट ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट वेर नेचर कीप्स मूविंग यू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सनलाइट रेन एंड को यू फील हैप्पी वेन अ लाइट प्लेजेंट ब्रीज टच यू जोग्रफी इज अ सब्जेक्ट दैट ऑफर्स एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ ऑल दीज नैचुरल इवेंट्स इट टेक्स यू क्लोजर टू नेचर इन दिस सब्जेक्ट we also study the interaction of living organism among themselves and with nature today we are going to learn about how seasons occur part 1 let's recall few questions already studied in previous class how do day and night occurs on the earth answer is day and night occurs due to rotation of the earth what term is used to describe the earth's revolution around the sun the earth motion around the sun is called revolution how long does the earth take to do so the earth takes 365 days 6 hours to complete one revolution in which hemisphere our country located our country is located in the northern and eastern hemisphere Why don't the sun rays fall perpendicular at all the places on the earth? The sun rays do don't fall perpendicular all the place because of the inclined axis of the earth and due to the curvature of the earth. These two reasons are responsible for the sun rays don't fall perpendicular at all the places. Let's see geographical explanation. we know that the planet on which we live is known as the earth the earth spins around its own axis is called rotation the earth revolves around the sun is known as revolution we have been learning that the earth takes 24 hours to rotate around itself and 365 days and 6 hours to revolve around the sun the earth rotates from west to east that's why the sun rises in the east the sun set in the west let us learn more about the earth axis an imaginary straight line around which an object spins the earth spins on its own axis once every 24 hours earth axis goes from the north pole through the earth center to the south pole and it's tilted the earth's rotation has enabled us to measure the time in terms of days during a single day we experience different stages like sunrise midday sunset as well as daytime and nighttime a specimen table has been given record the entries for the month of june and answer the following questions the first question is among the records in the table which is the longest day the longest day is june 21st second question what difference do you notice in the duration of nights and day by day the duration of nights keep on increasing day by day the third one is guess the reason behind the reason behind is the sun is now moving southwards next question is how did you find out the duration of the night the duration of the day is subtracted from 24 hours to get duration of the night next question is which two dates had days and nights of the same duration the answer is march 22nd and september 23rd have the same duration of the days and nights these days are called equinoxes 
Next question. Do you think such changes occur everywhere on the earth? Yes. Duration of the day and night changes everywhere on the earth. Let's see geographical explanation. The equator bisects the earth into north and south parts. The one to the north is called northern hemisphere, while on the south is called southern hemisphere. Towards the north and south of the equator, parallels of longitude progressively become smaller and smaller. On the globe and also on the earth, at the north and south ends of the earth axis, they appear as a points. Those are called north pole and south pole. All places between 23 degree 30 minutes north and south of the equator receive perpendicular sun rays on two days in a year, March 21st and 23rd September. Other area of the earth never get perpendicular sun rays. The parallels at 66 degree 30 minutes north and south of the equator that is Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle in area between these two parallels throughout the year daytime last within the limit of 24 the maximum duration of the sun's appearance in the sky can be 6 months at the place based on the seasons. During this period the sun is continuous to move in spiral on the Horizon. Because of the Earth's axis is inclined by 23 degree 30 minutes. 21st June is longest day and it marks the shortest night in the Northern Hemisphere. And 22nd December marks the longest day and shortest night in the Southern Hemisphere. You realize that as the position of the sun changes, the position of the shadow also changes. It is the tilt of the axis that leads to occurrence of the seasons. Dear students, in this lesson we have studied how do day and night occurs on the earth, which factors are responsible for occurrence of season, relation between sun and earth. Thank you.